an SUV lands upside down and several people are in the hospital after a driver trying to get away from police crashed right into them. CBS 2's Jim Williams is outside Lurie Children's Hospital and Jim, you met a man who ran to help those victims. Erica, a dentist ran out of his office to reach the victims. The youngest victim, a baby here at Lori Children's Hospital. Now everyone is okay, but it was a terrifying scene in Rogers Park. I heard a loud boom. I had the noise, a very loud noise. When I heard the loud boom, I knew it was an accident immediately. The sight matched the frightening sound. An SUV flipped over on its roof here at Tuian Ridge. I said, oh my God. Dental office manager Penny Chips shout alerted her husband, the dentist. I'm actually working on a patient and I kind of dropped everything. Dr. Gregory Chip ran over to the intersection and saw people trapped in the SUV. Fearing the vehicle might explode, he hurried to get everyone out. A lady in the back seat, the passenger, trying to get out the back. She was bleeding. The husband came like a half a minute later. He was bleeding. Also inside, a baby. Just kept saying, my baby, my baby, my baby. And then I just yanked the baby out. Chicago police say moments before, officers had approached the driver of this minivan, which had failed to stop at a stop sign. The driver took off, barreled through the intersection, passed the red light, and crashed into the SUV. Ashley Ortiz, walking with her four-month-old baby, saw the SUV and thought of the child inside. It was just horrifying, and it was terrifying that um, something could have happened to the little ones. So I was just happy that it turned out the way it did because it could have been a lot more serious. Chicago police insist there was no chase before that crash. They're talking to the two people who were in the minivan. Live outside of Lori Children's Hospital, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica, Brad. Jim, thank you.